what I've realized is that St. Patrick did the exact same thing uh, when he brought Christianity to Ireland. He had to go against the chiefs that were in charge, these, uh, the kingdoms. And they had a festival, an annual festival every year in which they had this huge bonfire. And the custom was that the king was to let light that fire to burn uh, the, the sacred bonfire uh, to, and it also symbolized his power. Uh, the custom was that no one could burn a fire in the valley until the king lit that fire. Well, St. Patrick realizing that he couldn't convert uh, people in Ireland one person at a time and he needed something to broadcast the news about his God uh, across Ireland. So he, what he did was he went to the hill of Schlein, which is a hill near the hill of Tara where the festival occurred. And he built his bonfire. And before, uh, before it could be lit, before the king lit his fire, before the king lit his fire, uh, St. Patrick lit his fire, which of course, that was really defying the king. And the king uh, took his army over to the hill of Slain, thinking that he would have to fight uh, to protect his kingdom. And there was St. Patrick sitting beside the fire. And he stood up and he said to the king, I wanted you to know about the God of love within my heart. Well, the king was so impressed with his bravery, he converted right there to Christianity. And that was the beginning of the new religion in, in Ireland. Well, I'm not trying to convert uh, Larry Harvey to Christianity. I'm trying to get him to go back to his roots and to find that lovolutionary spirit within him to organize all of us great-hearted artists together and to pursue the love illusion in front of the Nevada test site, 2008. Thank you for listening to my story. So here is my story that I wrote. It's on my website, www.loveillusion.net, if you want to read it. Uh, and this, it's three parts to this story. And I wanted my story linked to the Burning Man site. It seemed uh, right and proper that it be listed there. And I needed an audience. I need an audience for my work. That's what writers do. They write and they write it for themselves. But then in another way, they have this public persona that they want their words to have an effect, a cultural effect. So that's why I did it. I also made a campaign uh, with the idea of moving Burning Man from, the, from the, its present site in northern Nevada, 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 from northern Nevada to uh, across from the nuclear test site for one year bringing 40,000 people across that site and building Black Rock City would make such an a explosive uh, statement about the nature of art, the nature of life, uh, the purpose of what Burning Man is about. And to burn the man in front of the nuclear test site, just it brings all uh, levels of ecstasy in my mind because it's just the proper place to burn it. Uh, and it's certainly the right time as we're on the verge of global warming and nuclear holocaust. We're living in hot times and we need to cool it down. And to do that, we have to bring uh, into focus what's happening with our money how and how we can convert the military into a different consciousness.